Lebanon's health ministry said on Wednesday at least nine people were killed and over 300 were wounded on Wednesday as electronic devices exploded in multiple regions of country. The blasts happened a day after an apparent attack targeting pagers used by Hezbollah killed at least 12 and wounded nearly 3,000. On a busy street in the southern city of Sidon, dozens of people and first responders gathered by a cell phone shop that caught fire after an explosion. Several ambulances were also present but it was unclear if there any casualties. Multiple explosions went off on Wednesday at the site of a funeral for three Hezbollah members and a child killed by exploding pagers the day before, according to Associated Press journalists at the scene. Hezbollah's al Mana TV reported explosions in multiple areas of Lebanon, and a Hezbollah official told the Associated Press that walkie-talkies used by the group exploded as part of blasts heard in Beirut. The official spoke on condition of anonymity because he was not authorized to speak to the media. There was no immediate detail on casualties. The new blasts happened with Lebanon still thrown into confusion and anger after the Tuesday's pager bombings, which appeared to target Hezbollah members. At least 12 people were killed, including two children, and some 2,800 people wounded as hundreds of pagers used by Hezbollah members began detonating in several parts of Lebanon and in Syria. يا جماعة الخير بطارية الليثيوم فجرت بقلب الرباد ميلانيا ترامب is known as a fashion model, the third wife of former President Donald Trump, the second foreign born first lady and the only first lady to become a naturalized US citizen. Trump is the youngest daughter of Victor and Amelia Novs, and grew up in Slovenia. Her modeling career took off in the 1990s with work in Paris, Milan, and New York where she eventually met Donald Trump. Donald supported her modeling career and Melanie supported his idea of running as an independent during the 2000 presidential election. The couple married in 2005 in Palm Beach, Florida with the reception at Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. A year later she would become a US citizen and give birth to her son Baron Trump. During his 2016 presidential campaign, Trump and his associates were accused of making hush money payments to two women, who alleged they had extramarital sexual encounters with Trump in the mid-2000s. As First Lady Melanie Trump sought to maintain her privacy and focused on raising her son. During her time in the White House, she promoted her Be Best initiative to support the social, emotional, and physical health of children. While she appeared at her husband's campaign launch event for 2024 and attended the closing night of the Republican National Convention, she has otherwise stayed off the campaign trail. Her decision not to deliver a speech at this year's convention marked a departure from tradition for candidates' wives and from the 2016 and 2020 Republican gatherings. <laughs> Thank you.
citizenship was just awarded uh, to Victor and Amaya uh, Knaus. Um, they have um, travailed a wonderful journey, like most have, millions have, in getting citizenship and waiting the requisite period of time. The wedding was beautiful, and she looked very beautiful. Was she happy? I think so. I can't get inside the head, but I think so. Is this one of the nicest weddings you've been to? Yeah, this was really beautiful, and it was fun, and it was, uh, she looked just lovely. As a mother and as First Lady, it concerns me that in today's fast-paced and ever-connected world, there are too many critical issues facing children today. So the three main pillars of Be Best will include well-being, social media use, and opioid abuse. Well, thank you very much. It's a great honor that you're here. It's going to be a very spectacular evening, and people are just wanting change. The rich people want it, poor people want it, everybody wants change. Your country is really doing poorly. 